Hey guys, Nancy Faye here, Modern Day Pilgrim. I hope you're having a fabulous day today. Well, welcome back to my channel. Well, today I thought we would talk about three steps, three things, three ideas uh, that can help you pack your van more effectively and more efficiently for your upcoming trips in 2024. Because I think a lot of us have the problem of overpacking our vans and bringing things that we don't need. And then we regret it because then we don't have anywhere to put it and our van's all cluttery. And then, yeah, it's a mess. It's an absolute mess. So anyhow, um, I want to talk about the things that I do, what's helped me to maintain a clutter-free space in my van and the kind of like the mentality that I think got me to this place. Before I even started van camping, thought about how, how was I going to make this space not cluttery because it's really important to me. And I know um, maybe this video won't resonate with everybody and maybe, maybe some people, um, they're okay with clutter and that is okay. That is perfectly fine, so so no problem there. If you'd like some ideas on how to um, comfortably, clutter-freely camp in your van, stay tuned. All right, let's get into it. Okay, number one, vehicles are small. They're not like a house. In a house, you have all these storage spaces. You've got cabinets, you've got closets, you've got underneath your bed storage, you've got linen closets, you've got whatever, pantries. Uh, I mean, you've got storage. In our vans, it's a small space. So the first thing you need to do is identify the places in which you will store your things. That is the most important thing. So how much storage space will you have in your specific kind of vehicle? That is the first thing you do. Because if you don't know where you're going to put your things and you all of a sudden gather a bunch of stuff and then you try to stuff it in your van, nine times out of 10, it's not gonna work. So find your spaces in your van or your car or your truck. If it's a van, maybe you'll have a raised bed like I do. I have a, a Coleman Comfort Smart Cot. I use the underbed for my storage. I use the front seat for my storage. Okay, so keep that in mind. Whatever kind of vehicle you have, identify the spaces that you want to designate to be your storage. That's very, very, very important. The goal is, to comfortably house ourselves. That's what we, that's the goal here. We want to be in our van in an environment that, that is comfortable to us. So we want to comfortably house us, not comfortably house our stuff, right? So keep that in mind. All right, number two, we want to figure out what exactly it is you need on this trip. So every trip's gonna be different unless you live in your van full time, understood. You might have a little bit more stuff than people that camp, but maybe you can use some of these um, ideas even if you're a full time van dweller. But the second step is gonna be figure out what do you need for your trip? Not what do you want, what do you need for this trip? That is the key word, need, okay? It's really, really important. There's a big difference between need and wants. And when it comes down to it, we don't really, need half of the stuff we want we just want it and then it's like cluttered up yeah we don't want that so get your pen and paper out get your thinking cap on and we're gonna start writing it down just everything from hygiene to camping gear to bedding everything that you're gonna need for the trip everything your cooler everything everything your bed your linens whatever everything goes on the list right once you get your van set up with the things that you need to sleep on or maybe a cooler eating, all of that stuff, the other things are the things that you're going to put in the designated storage area, okay? So setting up your van is part of the stuff you need, but mostly this list is for the things that are gonna be stored in your vehicle, whether it's a truck, a van, or a car, okay? So like I mentioned, anything hygiene, clothes, shoes, jackets, uh, outdoor gear, whatever it is, just put it on the list. Super important to get it out of your head and on paper. You won't realize exactly what you need. It won't really come to, it won't even come together unless it's on paper. You just can't even imagine, believe me. You just, you think, you go back in the house, you grab this, you grab that, you grab this, you grab that, and before you know it, you got all this stuff in your van. Pen and paper, write down your needs only, and we'll get to the wants in a little bit. But first of all, needs. After you've written down all your needs, you're gonna gather your needs, and you're gonna put them in one place. 
right? And you're going to do this, obviously, not too far in advance unless you're a real prepper and you just want to know how it's going to go like a, like a dry run deal. But, you know, maybe close to your trip, a day before, you're just going to get everything out and you're going to see what you have physically, not just the list, but physically in front of you. And then you're going to start putting those things in the places that you have designated your storage and nowhere else. Because what will happen is if we have things that don't have a designated area, then they'll end up kind of everywhere in your vehicle. Your space will become cluttered and uncomfortable. And that is just not a good thing. So everything you bring out to the van, the vehicle, the car, the truck goes in the designated storage area. Step number three, after everything's in your vehicle and it's to your liking and it's organized in your storage spaces, how much space do you have left? Do you have any space left? Do you not have any space left? Is there something you could do without that you maybe snuck on there that's really a want, not really a need? Think about that stuff. If you have space left over in your storage areas and you wanna bring a few wants, well, there you have it. You've got somewhere to keep your wants. But if you don't, and your designated storage space is completely packed out, well, guess what? You've got everything you need, and you're gonna have a fantastic trip. Ta-da! Done. That simple. Don't overthink it. Do not overthink it. Most people bring so much stuff because they're comfortable with the idea of having these things. They don't really need the things. It's just, it makes them feel comfortable for the just in case, right? So here's the thing, bring what you need, not what you think you might need just in case, because that's where the clutter begins. And we do not want to be cluttery van campers. At least I don't. I really value a clean space. I value this little bit of an area that I have here to hang out in. And I'm going to hop out and I'm just going to give you a quick tour of my van right now so I can show you where I keep my stuff. Okay, let's get to it. All right, this is what I've got going on in my van. And as you know, it's a 2019 Dodge Grand Caravan. The front seat is valuable storage space. I use the floor, I use my seat, and I use my headrest here as a coat rack. And this is a great place to keep stuff. That's where I keep a lot of my stuff when I'm on my trips, things that I need to have handy. Underneath my bed here is where I keep my clothing. It is in a drive trunk organizer here. It's empty at the moment except for my sleeping bag, but this is filled with my clothes. It's easy in, easy out, easy access, which is very, very important to me. I don't like bins or lids or anything like that. Um, I basically uh, just keep everything there. And over here, I don't have anything right now. This setup is just everything I need right now, so I don't have any extra anything in this car, in this van. So that is a very open space under there. But if I was going on some extended trip and I needed to bring extra gear, that'd be a great place to keep it. So under bed storage, front seat storage, and uh, back here is where I keep my utility trunk organizer right here. It's from Hay Trip. And everything in here is for uh, this van, my heater, my toilet, a down blanket. I've got stuff to put in my toilet, my fans, my lights, everything is in there. And this right here will stay here. This is where I keep my water, my food. Over here is my paper towel holder. Now that hangs up right here. But I keep it here for uh, the purpose of not swinging around when I'm driving. But this is a dedicated storage space back here. And then my other storage space that I dedicate to just storing things is over here. And as you can see, there is nothing in this part of the van because this is where I live. I hang out in here, right? So I want all of this space to be clutter free and everything has a home. And let's just talk about that for a minute. Being clutter free is an intentional act. So it's something you have to work on every day when you get up, you just, you do the same routine every day. You get things out, you put things away, you make your bed every day. Uh, my sleeping bag does not go on the bed. When I'm done with it, I do put it away underneath my bed because I don't need it. I have a little throw blanket right there if I need that. But it's just really important to me to have a really free space where I'm hanging out 
and uh, this is a great setup. So anyhow, I hope this video was helpful to you in um, maybe gaining some insights on how to be a clutter-free van camper. Number one, look for where you wanna keep your things. Identify your storage space. Number two, gather only the things you need first. Don't get your wants, only your needs. Once you get them into your designated storage spots, then you can see how much space you have left for wants. But if you don't have enough space for you to reside comfortably, think twice about those wants because it is very, very easy to become cluttered and discombobulated in a small space. So that is that. All right, everyone, I hope you're having a fabulous day. I hope this video was helpful to you. And uh, that is all. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. I would love that. Drop a comment if you'd like. I'd love to connect with you. And if you have any thoughts, ideas, uh, even opinions, good or bad, you know, send them my way. I would love to connect with all of you. And I appreciate your support. So that's it. You guys have a fabulous day. I will catch you later. Until next time.